Well, no, I'm joined by those three Romanian citizens, all living in the UK. They are Victor Spirescu, arrived in the UK on New Year's Day. Uh, he was met at Luton Airport by rather a, a crowd of journalists there, including some of our own, and uh, by, amongst others, the Labour MP, Keith Vaz. Monica Irimia has lived here for 12 years. Monica and her twin sister Gabriella formed the pop duo The Cheeky Girls. And Dr. Tommy Tomescu is the president of the Alliance Against Romanian and Bulgarian Discrimination. And a very good morning to you all. We want to start with you, Victor. I, I bet you didn't expect that reception when you uh, arrived here last week. Have you found a job? Yes, I found a job, but uh, I don't like it now. And I want to find another job. OK. Can you tell us what you're doing right now? Right now? I, I mean, the, the, the job that you're doing. A uh, wash car. OK, washing cars. And uh, you're going to look for another job. What happens if you don't? Would you stay here and try to access benefits after a while, or would you go back to Romania? I stay here maybe three, four months, and after I go to Romania. OK. Monica, I mean, you've been here some time. What, what do you feel about the way that this debate has been framed? I mean, is a Romanian living and loved indeed by, by some in Britain. And what do you think about what, what's been said about your country? Well, I think that is a big confusion uh, regarding the Romanian population and Roma population. Uh, there are 200,000 Roma people living in the UK and there are only 70,000 Romanian living in the UK. And the media com campaign has been attacking Romanians as Roma and Romanian people. Um, and I think it's a big insult uh, because there are so many doctors, nurses and engineers, who, Romanian, who are already living in the UK and they have a big contribution towards the UK. Mm. Uh, uh, including your own. I mean, but what do you think about, you know, what Victor said there, there's, there's also the idea that uh, a lot of Romanians, Bulgarians or whoever will come here and try and access our so-called generous benefits system. Well, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, you come to work, don't you? Yes, I think that the big attraction is not the benefit system, it is the higher income. In Romania, the wages are four times lower than, to the, than in the UK. So most people who are coming over here or who will come over here will not, pay, will not plan to live over here for a long period of time, just to work with contracts, construction sites, farming, and to earn more money for their families back mm. home. But this is the question I want to move on to you, Tommy. I mean, you've just been greeting, haven't you, a, a coachload of Romanians who, who yes, arrived here today? Yes, in, in the morning. And what services do you provide for them? What does your organisation do? Uh, we mainly fight, ag fight against the discrimination of uh, Romanians and Bulgarians, as we have had to get used with successive attacks in the last years, which uh, have included even uh, the portraits of us as barking dogs uh, and uh, the naming of uh, Romanians and Bulgarians as uh, slim bugs aliens by the UKIP Independence Party. And we don't see which is the difference between that and the times when the blacks were portrayed as monkeys. Mm -hmm. I okay, really I mean, see. all right, that, that, that's quite strong. I mean, but do you see yourselves within the EU as being treated differently from, from other nations whose citizens live and work in the UK? Yes, we see ourselves by the media and part of the political establishment, but not mostly by the British people, which are very tolerant in their main uh, um, commitment to our us. There, there have been some issue and some uh, xenophobic or even racial attacks against some of our countrymen, but most of the British people are very welcoming to us. And well, well, let me, I want to ask Victor about that because you've been all across the news bulletins as we've seen there, and here you are uh, on a news program this Sunday morning. What, what, what's your experience been? What have you found? People must, do they recognize you from being yes, on the television? Yes, yes, I have problem with, when I go on supermarket, all the people, she look at me and she tell me, I see a little girl, she said on my mom, hey, this is the guy of the television from the airport. Mm. Yeah. But, but what uh, is the, the attitude? I mean, you, you presumably come across quite a few British people who already live here. I mean, have you found any hostility? I don't understand. Uh, has, you has, speak has, very has fast. Any, has, <laughs> of course. Uh, has anyone been hostile? Has anyone been, been angry with you? Has anyone no, said, oh, you're no, a no. Romanian, go no. back to Romania? No. Momentarily, all the people she... I stay with with him to speak. It's very friendly, and I don't have problem. 
Yeah, it's good to hear. Uh, Monica, uh, we, we've got to move on to this issue of the idea that, you know, there's a limited pool of jobs and therefore that if Romanians, Bulgarians or whoever come here, they're taking jobs away from, from, from British people. Well, um, I think I did mention this before. Um, there are certain jobs uh, which mainly British people don't want to do. So um, there Can comes like people from Eastern Europe to the UK to do the jobs mm. which they don't want to do, like the on, on, on construction side. Just let me, Victor, you came in there. I mean, how easy was it for you to get your job? Were there, were there a queue of uh, British people that you uh, beat to the car wash? You got, in the, you got in the line first, did you? Or was it easy to get that job? But, yes, because uh, some, uh, some guy who worked there, and she called me and she told me, come here to work with me. Okay. And I, okay, but now it's so heavy. Mm. And is, it, is your contact, are your contacts through the Romanian community who are already here? Do you have friends here? Is that yes, how you I have, hope to find more work? Yeah, I have much. And uh, Tommy, she finally, she helped me to find me another job. In, I like to work in construction because I'm a, I have a great skills. What is your skill? To construction. Okay, you're, you're a construction To make a lot of things. I don't know <coughs> because it's technical uh, words and I don't know mm. how to... Explain. I mean, okay, that's fair enough. I mean, Tommy, we do hear a lot, though, about um, you know people from Romania and other countries, as I keep saying, who have greater skills, but they'll take a job just to get the money temporarily. If they move up that skills ladder, if Victor, for instance, gets a job in the construction centre uh, industry, would he then not perhaps be threatening the livelihoods of British workers? Um, there may be a competition on the long term, but... Um the reality is that uh, this is the free market and uh, yes, I cannot say that it didn't happen, but most of them are taking at the beginning, as you said, just normal job. Even he is an electrician and he will have to uh, take his uh, documents and to uh, properly register here and just after that he can do that. But most of the people uh, are doing in this moment uh, low or medium skill job. Most of the Romanians, men are working in construction. Most of the Romanian women in cleaning. Okay. They are paying their taxes if they are allowed to take the national right. insurance yeah. number. Yeah. Yeah. Victor yeah. saying he wants to pay his taxes. Quick last thought, Monica, Nigel Farage, uh, UKIP leader, uh, coming up next. What would you, you like me to put to him? <laughs> I think that um, the bad campaign about Romanians should stop and uh, we should show some positive um, aspects as well about Romanian people. Okay, well we shall see uh, <laughs> Mr Farage listening intently there. So he's coming up next but uh, right now let me say thank you to you Victor, Monica, Tommy, very good thank to see you.